what up world welcome back to Carter's way where I do health and fitness videos and today I got a special interview for you guys now I met this woman from Ukraine and she's into exercising and Pilates so let's see what she had to say all right so I'm back with another interview the stand is up and I'm with what's your name Irina Irina you were born and raised in Staten Island Irene no I wasn't okay where were you born I was born in Ukraine. Ukraine? Uh, yes. Okay. Raised You're full Ukrainian? The... Sorry? You're full Ukrainian? Full Ukrainian. Okay. And when did you get here? I came here in 1994. 1994. And you've been on Santa Island ever since? No, I actually came originally to Philadelphia. And then I moved to New York when I started college. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, so you obviously work out or you run and stuff, exercise. How long have you been exercising for? Uh, well, I've been exercising probably since my teens, on and off. Okay. Um, but I really got into it probably after college, because college were my days where I was snacking too much, getting those extra college pounds. <laughs> uh, and then it was a battle, but uh, you know, I got into the right mindset and I started eating right, and then I just started working out, which was like mostly Pilates. Okay. Yeah. That's a first on the channel. Okay, how many times a week do you work out or exercise? Uh, well, due to this whole pandemic thing, I'm actually grateful because I get to work out every single day. How's that? Uh, because I literally, I either jump on the bike, I'm either walking, I'm either doing a Pilates class on Zoom. Uh, so you stay, you stay uh, yeah. constantly moving no matter what. Yeah. And so you usually go to the gym when this is uh, open? No. Congratulations. Thank you. So I actually had no life for quite some time. So I had no time for the gym, but I did actually do a, like a seven to 10 minute workout, like in the bathroom. I would do like crunches and like, you know, a little bit of here and there. Okay. Um, so I had no time. So I really, you know, but now I'm really looking after my diet and I get to go and be outside. Okay. And what keeps you motivated to keep on working out or exercising? Uh, I think the number one thing is the way I feel. So I, I feel good at the end of the day. And on the days where, say, like I couldn't come out, I had a, I had like a shoulder injury. I just feel like, like blah, you know, like I don't feel like myself anymore that day. I feel like I feel like I can't get that energy out. So do you feel like it helps you physically and mentally, or is that like Absolutely. a physical thing? It's definitely both. Definitely. It's both. definitely it's definitely physical and mental. Okay. And uh, do you follow any type of diet, vegetarian or anything? Uh, tried vegetarian diet, wasn't really working out. I still like my turkey and I, I really like uh, veal. Um, but I do love a lot of seafood. I, I cook myself a lot. So we eat a lot of fish, a lot of like protein fish, like cod. Mm. Okay, yes. Um, and I'm a regular of salads and fruit shakes with like lots of greens. Okay. So that's on a daily basis. Salad. And salads. <laughs> yes. uh, do you feel a difference to when you eat healthy to when you're eating garbage? Yes, 100%. So, like, when we, you know, when we used to go to the movies and, you know, I want that popcorn it's with nice extra butter meat. and I eat it, and then after the movies, I just feel like you just feel gross, you know, like you feel that butter in your stomach, it, and it's like, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good anymore. And then, even if I eat like something fried now, uh, it's horrible. I get you feel like, drained and yeah, nausea. yeah, and I get like heartburn and I'm like bloated and it just it doesn't work. Now is that gonna motivate you to want to work out if you eat like that? If I eat like what? Like garbage? Is it really gonna motivate you or help you to? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, all you wanna do is lay around and and you just wanna lay. You all right, so move. let's just leave it at that and <laughs> yeah. let's keep that in mind also. Uh, so if you don't mind me asking you, what do you look for in a life partner? many right. things but I think the most important thing is for you to find someone who is motivated and who has a vision of where they want to be mm. so like if you're with somebody who is kind of stuck in their ways and they're comfortable where they are and that's not your comfort level and that's not where you see yourself in the several years then that's not the person for you 
So I think that's the best kind of uh, advice is that, you know, you should sit down with your partner and, you know, say in however many years, where do you see yourself and what kind of life do you see yourself having and how are you going to look and what are you going to eat? And if you guys are on the same page, then most likely it's going to be successful. So having the same lifestyle would definitely help the relationship. And if you're working out, you would feel like your partner would also most likely have to work out. 100%. Uh, that's the way it is now with, with me and my partner. We motivate each other. So, you know, you, we all have our on and off days. You know, there's days where I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I don't what? even want to come out. Like, you know. <laughs> Obviously, he's getting up and he's going. So there I am, getting up and going also. Amen. That's what you need. Um, so uh, do you believe in God by any chance? Yes, I do. Okay. And uh, has he transformed you anyway? Does he keep you in line? What has he done in your life? Uh, I don't think he's he keeps me in line. I think he just keeps me uh, aware that there is a higher being and that we are not alone here and that, um, you know, there's someone always watching out for us mm. and there's a greater power above us, basically. Okay, let's leave it at that, I like it. Uh, now, would you say you are who you are because you were born like that or you could be whoever you want to be? You can be whoever you want to be. No matter what, if you came from a poor house or a rich house? No matter what. No matter what. I think no matter what, it's all, it's all uh, your mindset. You know, if your mindset is that I'm poor and I'm going to be poor and this is my life, then that's the way it's going to be. If your mindset is I'm poor, but you know what? I'm going to kick ass and I'm going to get to the very top. You'll get to the very top. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to pick one, would you rather physical health or your mental health? Both. Now you got to pick one though. Which one would you feel is more critical? I would say then your mental health mm. because your mind controls the body. And so, if your mind can control the body, that means you can do everything else. Absolutely, I agree. Now, for my last question, would you go back in time to relive your life and lose all the lessons you learned, or would you stay right here and keep all the lessons you have right now? Stay right here. Because all the lessons that I've learned, that they made me who I am today. Wow. <laughs> Hey, you see it. I got the crazy interviews, and that's about it. So I'll see you again with the next one. Peace. All right, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back tomorrow with another healthy one.